Hello everyone, how are you? So today I am going to show you how I edit the colors in this particular photo in Lightroom. This is a pretty simple and quick photo shoot that I did and it was actually accepted in Photobow. In case you didn't know, Photobow is an online portfolio for photographers and it is curated by Italia, uh, Bow Italia uh, editors so that's pretty cool and this is the before and after as you can see the the final image has way more cool tones especially in the greens so a little behind the scene this quick photo shoot was taken in my backyard and it was in the afternoon and at this time of the day the light is pretty beautiful, it's pretty diffuse, soft light and in the background as you can see there's like a like a kind of like a V shape that the light makes so that was the the perfect time to this photo shoot. Okay, so overall what I did with this photo was first taking the white balance more on the cool side because that's what I wanted. I didn't want um, a, a warm picture and then I bring the exposure down and the highlights because to me this photo has just too much light especially on half of, of the face. I really didn't want an overexposed photo. And then when it comes to the the color settings, the HSL, I took the, the most prominent colors on this photo, which are green and blue, and I changed those colors towards the tones that I wanted. So for green, I wanted a cool tone green and because green is such a strong color actually our eyes um, perceive more green than they can perceive uh, blue or red so that's why I took the saturation down and then when it comes to the blue I wanted a more cyan or turquoise tone but uh, because um, I didn't want like um, like an HDR look where, where the sky is is exposed. I just I'm not into that look, so I took the luminance up a little bit when it comes to the sky. And even though I wanted a cool tone picture, when it comes to the skin tone, it was looking just too uh, cool for me. So I just took the brush and first I just um, took any value so I could see where the brush was going but the idea behind this was to take the expose exposure down a little bit and then take the skin tone to a little bit of a warm tone to make it seem a little bit more alive because even though the the green on the on the back is cool i still wanted to give the impression that the sun was a little bit warm which was actually what was happening in reality and i just wanted to give that impression then with another brush i painted the, the teeth, the smile, a little bit cool because uh, the brush that I that I used on the skin made the teeth look a little bit yellowish and I just 
didn't want that, I don't think that that's a good look. And I also took the exposure of the smile up a little bit to make it seem a little bit whiter. And as you can see before the brush and after the brushes, it looks way better, especially the exposure and the tone of the skin. And to wrap up this image, I wanted a little bit of a vignette, of a dark vignette, to make it look a little bit more interesting. And I think that the exposure of the sky also looks better. And because I have shadows on the on the sweater, I think that the vignette on the sky um, it makes the the overall exposure of the image look way better. Uh, but that is pretty much the 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 image. I also did some simple retouching in some spots on the skin but this is about color this video so I, 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 didn't, I didn't record that and in case you wonder what all the other images that I took in this photo shoot looked like this is the final images I chose black and white from, for some of the photos I think that it looks pretty cool and this is it so I hope you have a good day and until next time, bye bye.